We are on the job with Andy Challenger of Challenger Gray and Christmas for a look at what's happening in the labor market. Good to see you, Andy. First off, what's your take on the Jolt's job openings release? Yeah, this week's JOLTS report documented about 8.76 million job openings posted by employers in the U.S. over the course of February. That's up slightly from what we saw in January, about flat, uh, but remains a strong signal of the underlying health of the labor market. Despite the fact that we've seen increased layoffs, we've seen uh, reports of economic weakness from companies under certain angles. Angles, uh, there remains a strong open market for positions in the country. There are about 6.6 million unemployed persons right now, so that number remains elevated. And most people that are looking for positions are able to find them in this economy. Doesn't mean it's not gonna take a little bit longer. It's a little bit weaker of a market for job seekers than it was a year ago, but the health of the market remains fairly strong. Your firm is tracking CEO exits. Those numbers are rising. Why is that happening? We tracked a really significant number in February in CEO turnover. 248 CEOs left their positions. That's the highest single month total that we have ever recorded since we started tracking this more than 22 years ago. Uh, that is a potential sign that there is more change coming, that companies are changing the top of their organizations and that will have cascading effects. Uh, but it's also a, a part of what we're seeing in a post-COVID world, that there is more certainty, there's more confidence from companies that their boards are able to bring in new strategies and new leaders to enact them than they have been in some time. We saw a real drought of turnover at the top of organizations during COVID when there was so much uncertainty. As the world has become a little more clear, they're able to make these longer term decisions. What is going on with female CEOs? Yeah, the replacement rate of CEOs that are women has fallen off slightly this year as compared to the average we were seeing in 2023. Uh, it's a touch concerning, it's down a little bit. Uh, it could be a sign that as companies are going back to the office or moving away from some of the remote work uh, trends that we'd seen really proliferate during the COVID period, that it is disproportionately affecting women's ability to come back to the workplace. Uh, we don't quite know yet. It's only two data points, but that is a concern for us. We'd like to see that number grow from 27% up to 50% at some point. So this trend is, is a touch of a concern. Thank you as always, Andy. Thanks for having me, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.